Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. My goal was to get this far in Hollywood and still have a virgin asshole. <laughs> and I never had sucked the penis. That was my only goal. I didn't want to get with a white woman because I was scared she might have me running down the street like Jonathan Then you go speak up, old cat. Not because I didn't like white women. I think white women are as great as any other women. But I'm not gonna act like I'm not scared of them. I have a reason to be scared. You could be Kang the Conqueror and they could take your rabbit ass down in two weekends. And that's the truth of the matter. So I stayed away from that. You see Jonathan Major, what he went through, Marvel dropped him as soon as the guilty, uh, uh, the conviction came out. And you were telling the Hey, you saw that black woman come get his charge cut in half? Thank you, Megan Good. God bless you coming to save that slave. <laughs> if he'd had to be there by himself, he was getting awful. Guilty, 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 guilty. She came in there, it was just so beautiful. They had to knock half of it off. <laughs> Bless his heart. All right, tea sippers, I hope you guys are doing good this evening. So you guys just watched that snippet from Club Shay Shay. Like I told y'all, at this point, that is the interview that just keeps on giving and giving, okay? So y'all heard what Cat Williams had to say about Jonathan Majors. And what I find very interesting is that we wake up this morning, okay, on this good Monday, honey, and um, Jonathan Majors is doing an interview with Good Morning America. And it's about a seven minute interview and he's talking about, you know, how he was found guilty. And the um the interviewer asks him about why he was telling the white lady that he was with to basically be like MLK's wife, Coretta Scott King. As we all know, this audio went viral um, a few weeks ago. And what's very interesting about the audio of him talking to his then girlfriend is he is pretty calm. He's not shouting. He's not calling her all types of B words and not her name. But it's very interesting that she was recording this. And she was recording this early on in their relationship. So the fact that she was already recording him, to me, it makes me feel like, you know, she already had something in the bag. Like she was already planning on doing something to possibly affect his career. She was gathering receipts because we know when somebody's being secretly recorded, the person who's doing the secret recording, they're always on their best behavior, right? Because you know you're being recorded. So when I listened to the audio, he did not really sound like the bad guy, but I was very confused as to why he was asking this white woman to be like MLK's wife, Coretta Scott King. That to me made no sense, okay? He could have told her to act more like Hillary, act more like, you know, Eva Perone. I don't know. Anybody but these black icons. So I want y'all to go ahead and listen to this original audio really quick. Check this out. What are you doing right now? Period. This is actually, period. Do you understand that? Yeah. Do you really know this? Do you really? Yes. Then how dare you come home drunk and disturb the peace of our house when we have a plan? I'm I, so would like sorry. To get to, I would like to get to the point where your friends know what job I'm on and go, I think Grace is going to be out of commission. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I won't. I, like, I'm, I, no, no, no. Do you understand that? Because cause that team, that unit, right? Grace has to be in a certain mindset to support Coretta Scott King. You know who that is? That's Martin Luther King's wife. Michelle Obama. Barack Obama's wife. I know, I'm not. I, I, I shouldn't have gone out. I'm no, no, sorry. Let me, just, let me just lay it out for you, right? <laughs> If I am, I'm just gonna say this. My temper, my shit, my trauma, blah, blah, all that, all that said, right? And I'm gonna say, I'm a great man. A great man. I am doing great things, not just for me, but for my, for my culture and for the world. That is actually the position I'm in. That's real. I'm not being a dick about it. I didn't ask for it. I've worked and that's the situation. The woman that supports me, that I support, that, we're, that needs to be a great woman and make sacrifices the way that man is making for her and for them, ultimately. Last night, two nights ago, you did not do that. I'm you sorry. did not do that. I'm sorry. Which, which took away from the plan. 
And the plan is everything. <clears throat> if it was just you in the house drunk, maybe I could have swallowed it. Or, or, or I would feel bold enough like, oh, babe, let's just go to bed. Which I said to her, I'm just going to go to bed. I'm not, I'm not hungry, blah, 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 blah. Because Grace isn't here. Why? She was drunk. Why else? She was clogged by whatever was going on. You know what I mean? Fine, I can take that. I, I, fine. You guys just heard that audio of Jonathan and Grace Jabari. That's a very black surname, very interesting. It makes me think of the Jabari tribe from Wakanda. But anyhow, so he's gone viral once again because he's talking about his new relationship with Megan Good. And um, he says that Megan Good stood by him and she is his Coretta Scott King. Now y'all know I'm a conspiracy theorist, so let's keep that real. Don't y'all find it interesting that almost, I don't know, like 15, 20 years ago when Megan Good was in her 20s, she held down a black man named 50 Cent in the 21 Questions video. Remember 50 Cent was doing time and she was on the phone with him and he was asking her 21 questions. And it's very interesting now that she's almost manifested this role, but instead of it being 50 Cent, it's this other black man, Jonathan Majors. And like I told y'all before when I went live, was she the other woman? You know, because that has never been clarified as to who the other woman was that he was creeping with. So I find it very interesting that he went through this whole situation with Grace and then all of a sudden he has a new girlfriend in Megan Good. They had to already been talking or forming some type of relationship already. So I don't know. The whole thing is just really interesting. I want y'all to go ahead and watch this Good Morning America clip and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. This has been very, very, very uh, hard and very difficult and uh, confusing. In many ways. Jonathan Majors breaking his silence just weeks after a Manhattan jury found him guilty of misdemeanor reckless assault and harassment of his ex-girlfriend Grace Jabari. The actor at times emotional. Oh, sorry. Um, you know, I haven't I haven't seen my daughter in a, in a, in a, in a long time, you know, and um, a lot of it has to do with this situation. In a split verdict, Majors was found not guilty of two other misdemeanors, assault with intent to cause physical injury and aggravated assault. They're saying you didn't intend right. to injure her, right. but the result of your recklessness right. injured her. Right. Were you reckless? I was reckless with her heart. Mm. Not with her body. Not with her body. The physical altercation started inside an SUV after Majors received a suggestive text message from another woman. Hours later, after Majors placed a 911 call, police found Jabari unconscious on the closet floor in their apartment, as seen in this body camera footage. You feel that you did anything wrong on the night of March 25th, if you could relive that night? I wouldn't have picked her up. I wouldn't have picked her up. I wouldn't have put her back in the car. I wouldn't have tried to keep her in the car. I would have gotten out that car and ran immediately. The two met back in 2021 on the set of Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania. The prosecution has described your relationship with Grace Jabari as tumultuous and abusive. How would you describe that to your relationship? I loved Grace. Our relationship was, it was not healthy, you know, and that began to reveal itself over time. Why'd you stay? I, I, was, I was scared. Um, with the red flags, I found that, I, and I use this word, I said, oh, this is dangerous. This is months before uh, um, the incident. I should have been brave. I should have said, no, this isn't working. And I should have walked away. Um, and I didn't. Troubling signs in the relationship were revealed when prosecutors presented text messages where majors expressed suicidal thoughts, saying, maybe I'm such a monster and horrible man that I don't deserve it and should just kill myself. Were you suicidal? The ideations of removing myself huh. from situations permanently is a thought that I've had, um, I mean, since I was a kid, you know, since I was a you know, young boy on the farm in Texas, you know, it's not there anymore, you know. I've done that, I'm, I'm doing the work to, to keep it at bay and make sure it's not there anymore. Through it all, Major's new girlfriend, actress Megan Good, has remained by his side, even present for our interview. How would you describe your relationship? She's an angel. She's held me down like, like a, like a, like a Coretta, like, 
looked like a, like a Coretta, you know? I'm so blessed to have her, you know? The relationship is still fresh, but you know, I think I, I found her. The March 2023 incident thrust Major's dating history into the forefront. A Rolling Stone article back in June detailed multiple allegations of abusive behavior dating back to Major's relationships in college, allegations Major's vehemently denies. His attorneys offered past partners to defend him. Have you ever had issues with domestic abuse? I've, I've witnessed it, um, but never participated, you know. I mean, I've, I've, I've been smacked up before, you know, but yeah, never, never exercised it. Those relationships went back to when I was, you know, 21, 22 years old, and I just think, was I a jerk? You know, was I, you know, you know, a, a mean guy? You know, and I go, yeah, knowing what I know now, like, oh. Severe depression, childhood trauma. I've had very few relationships, um, so I can I can I can gather um, what situations we're talking about. Um, yeah, I was not the best boyfriend all the time. But never hit a woman. Never hit a woman. I've never, my hands have never struck a woman, ever. After gaining critical acclaim for films like The Last Black Man in San Francisco, Major's once red-hot career is now seemingly at a standstill. Captain, how are you feeling? Moments after the verdict, Marvel Studios dropped him. He was set to play the prominent character Kang in upcoming films. I am Kang! But despite the possibility of serving time, Major's believes the script for his career is still being written. You think he'll ever work in Hollywood again? <laughs> yeah. I do. I pray I do. But it's uh, it's God's plan and God's timing. For those who say, look, he's he's convicted at this point. Mm. What would you say? I mean, do you deserve a, a second chance? Well, I think I do. All right, so you guys just saw that clip, and like I said, a lot of people, a lot of people really upset on Twitter um, when this interview went viral, especially with him comparing Megan Good um, to, you know, basically Coretta Scott King and making her out to be this ride or die chick. So a lot of folks had things to say. I want y'all to go ahead and look at some of these comments and some of these posts from social media. Keep my wife's name out your f mouth. Come here. You talking about you talking about this girl right here? My wife? You talking about my wife? I'm a need Coretta Scott if I'm gonna be king. So one tweet says reducing Coretta Scott King to a ride or die chick is pathetic. Another tweet says, I'm almost sure Jonathan Majors doesn't know any of Coretta Scott King's accolades outside of being MLK's wife. Another person says, it's so funny to me how men like Majors view Coretta as merely supplementary to MLK's legacy. She was there to only hold him down, reduced to nothing more than a smiling, doting prop. Meanwhile, she was an accomplished musician, author, and civil rights leader. So yeah, a lot of people were lighting him up as they should. You know, I didn't agree with that. I, you know, if Megan wants to be a writer die chick for him then just say that but leave Coretta Scott King and Michelle Obama out of it you know just thank Megan for holding you down and leave it at that because Coretta Scott King the fact that he keeps bringing up her name and he brought it up to the white woman first Grace and asked her to be more like that that doesn't make any sense that probably went over Grace's head why would she even want to be like Coretta Scott King she has no attachment to that you know besides that both Coretta and her like black men like man that's really the only connection she would have to Coretta you know, so again, um, do I feel bad for him? I think he put himself in a bad situation. Um, this is why I say you have to be really, really careful. I don't care if you're a man or a woman with who you get into a relationship with. You know, a lot of times people get into relationships based on lust and based on superficial shit. 
But when you have things to lose, you need to make sure that your partner is on the same page as you, you know, but unfortunately he picked the wrong partner and he's literally lost everything because of it. But he also couldn't explain where she got the bruises from, you know, the the swollen finger, the cut behind the ear. He really couldn't explain all of that either. So it's going to be interesting to see like what comes of this situation. If he ends up getting picked up by another studio or he ends up getting other roles. Um, I think he's a great actor. But this situation is definitely going to taint his legacy, unfortunately. So again, be careful who you build with. So I look forward to reading y'all's comments down below. Make sure you guys hit the video with a like. Feel free to share the video. And most importantly, make sure you still subscribe to the channel. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.